Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with Let's Play Jade Empire Special Edition, Episode 99. In this one, we're going to go into the Soul Extractor Room. Let's see what's up in here. You must be Master Gong's latest acolyte. I heard there might be a new recruit, but they typically aren't ready for service so quickly. Stripping a will can take time. But Master Gong is known for being generous to those who please him. You must be quite exceptional to be allowed into service so directly. What is this place? This device is the Soul Extractor. It has a loftier name, but we are here to glorify Emperor Sun through death's hand, not pay tribute to some distant celestial lord. It is mounted on an elevator that reaches deep into the necropolis. Until recently, we excavated bodies to extract spirits that lingered near their graves. The results were... unpredictable. Now we use slaves. Freshly killed spirits make the best golems. The more painful the death, the better. The extractor is not gentle. Horrible! If the Emperor really is behind this, he's a monster! Shut up, Dawnstar. This machine looks dangerous. Have accidents claimed any lives? The soul extractor certainly kills whatever is placed within it. But little is left of the victim, so you cannot prove they did not belong there. Only a spirit shard remains. The golem press is far more dangerous. But I have nothing to do with that ungainly device. I prefer the elegance of ripping slaves apart. I can see that. I must make a spirit shard for the Jade Golem. Then you should select a suitable victim for the procedure. I would recommend one of the slaves on the prison level. Selecting from elsewhere could bring unfortunate results. And I would not wish to see you disgraced so early in your time with us. Oh. Use the lever to select a floor, and this platform will move there. You are free to go where you wish, but I would avoid the lower mines. They are... restless. So you believe they are dangerous? The older tombs have spirits that have festered in their hatred for ages. They are not easily controlled. That is why we use slaves to power the golems now. As well, the mines are simply not stable. Tombs can collapse, so we take care not to move too many golems at once, to avoid shaking the foundations of the fortress. Hmm. I want to ask you some questions. What kind of questions? Tell me about the Lotus Assassins and our leaders. Your place in the ranks of the Assassins is clear. What do you want to know? Tell me about the fortress. It is our home, but not for much longer. With the Golem forces of the Emperor almost complete, there is little to tie us here. When the army marches, so shall we. I do not imagine we will leave much behind us. The ground here is weak. Such a movement of power will likely shake the walls to their foundation. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Tell me about Death's Hand. Death's Hand owns my soul, as he does yours and everyone else who has given themselves to him. In obedience and submission, we find our purpose. Now that just sounds weak to me. He is the living will of the Emperor. Through him, we are closer to the heart of the Empire. What, you mean the uh, tavern at the, uh, the tavern in the arena? Isn't that the heart of the Empire? Oh, whatever. Tell me about Grand Inquisitor Gia. Grand Inquisitor Gia is the embodiment of the will of Death's Hand, even as he is the will of the Emperor. She governs us all while he is elsewhere. To defy her is to defy the Empire. Death is her first and last means of education on the matter. Goodbye. You should get on with your work. Grand Inquisitor Gia is growing impatient for the Jade Golem to be completed. Select a suitable victim and create a spirit shard. Okay. Well, let's um, use the elevator. There are three subsurface levels accessible. Select the floor you wish to visit. Let's go to the prison level first. <clears throat> what do we got in here? Oh look, a bunch of slaves. Who are you? Some new acolyte? I've seen a lot of your kind. I watch over the slaves you deliver to the extractor. 
The inevitability of their deaths is amusing. Haven't even earned your markings yet, I see. Master Gong must be getting weak to allow you such freedom already. I want to ask you some questions. Like what? Where do these slaves come from? They come from across the Empire. Some are brought from the south, some from the poor quarters of the city. Others are those who have merely spoken ill of us. A cruel collection. They do not deserve this. Shut up, Dawnstar. Their lives before don't matter. Only their debts concern us. Tell me about Death's Hand. Death's Hand is our lord and master. He holds our souls in bondage and grants us power through it. We obey him unquestioningly. He is the will of the Emperor. Tell me about Inquisitor Gia. Inquisitor Gia is second only to Death's Hand himself. She is in charge of our work here and she oversees our operations in the Imperial City. You will meet her in time. And when you do, pray you do not anger her. Well, we could free the slaves, but why would we want to do that? Never mind. Goodbye. Do what you like. I could let you guys go, and I'm not gonna. Master Lotus Assassin, have pity on us. This is no assassin, fool. A Lotus Acolyte has no authority to do anything for you. One of the masters could select you as servants, but they have subtle tastes. <laughs> F forgive me. I saw a new face and hoped there was kindness there. I was mistaken. Yep. Why are you here, slave? I am a criminal, I suppose. For lightening a few purses, I was sentenced to work on the wall. But I was delivered here instead. Some of the others were captured by pirates and sold. One merely asked why the Imperial Army reports to the Lotus Assassins now. We did nothing to deserve this harsh fate. You must be able to see that. How many slaves have passed through here? Hundreds. Thousands. I don't know. All that were here when I arrived are gone. There are scratches on the walls. Names of wives, of daughters. What did so many do to deserve such a horrible death? We can hear them scream, one by one. Goodbye. Yes. Farewell. Well, so that's the slaves. Let's keep, let's go deeper. Now, the near-surface mine level. Let's see if we got anything interesting in here. We got some bones. With an intimidation gem. We got a jar. The iron skin gem. And what's this? Small cracks in the mine allow a few beams of light in from the outside. I don't see it. Oh up there. An emaciated slave might be able to reach the surface, but no one else would fit. Ah, so I really could fl free the slaves if I wanted to. Oh, another jar. Or the same jar twice? Well, we've got two iron skin gems apparently. What do they do? Body plus three, zero percent damage from traps. Oh, it's not too bad actually, but no, nah, I don't need it. My focus is good enough that I'm dodging most traps now anyways. Oh, so that wasn't very interesting. Let's head to the deep level. The abandoned deep level mine. You're dead set on losing your life down in those tombs. I won't stop you. I won't save you either. I didn't expect you to, bitch. Wow, we're really going deep. Down, down, down. I don't think you want to stand there, Dawnstar. I'm just saying. And here we go. In the next episode, we are going to explore this area. This has been your Funky Honky with the Let's Play Jade Empire Special Edition. Stay tuned for episode 100. And I hope that you will see me next time.